I believe that to understand your calling, to really know your purpose, you're going to have to spend some time in meaningful reflection. I'd like to explain to you what I mean when I say meaningful reflection and then tell you a real practical way to get started with the process. Reflection, or what I sometimes call soulful inquiry, is really more about listening than it is about thinking. It's about listening to our subconscious. It's about listening with our heart rather than thinking with our head. This kind of reflection is almost a lost art in Western culture. The idea of asking questions like, who am I and what should I be doing with my life is sometimes seen as impractical, maybe even a waste of time, or at least strange. Maybe it's a luxury reserved for college freshmen at a liberal arts college, not for people that have to slug it out in the real world. Well, I believe this kind of reflection is very much a part of the real world. What could be more practical than having clarity about your calling, having your eyes fixed on your vision? But to discover your calling, it's much more of a spiritual question than it is an analytical exercise. So you're going to have to listen to your heart to get there. I believe that reflection is at the very center of self-discovery. So here's a very practical exercise to get you started. I'm going to suggest that you have what I call a 15-minute questioning exercise. You'll need to find a place where you'll be uninterrupted, where it'll be very quiet for 15 minutes. I'm going to give you four questions to answer and a particular way to answer them, and then two follow-up questions and a little different way to answer those two. Here are the four questions. You may want to jot these down. First, what is getting in my way and keeping me from living the life I should be living? What is getting in my way and keeping me from living the life I should be living? The second question, what would I do if I was completely unafraid? What would I do if I was completely unafraid? Third, what will free me to become the person I was created to be? What will free me to become the person I was created to be? And finally, how can I live a more authentic life? And here's how I suggest you go about answering these. Start with the first question. Write down as many answers as you can. Generate as many answers as you can, as quickly as you can. Don't judge your responses. Just jot them down. Three, four, 20 responses, as many as you can. That's the, that's the first thing to do. Next thing to do, move to the second question. What would I do if I was completely unafraid? Repeat the process, generating as many questions as you can, as quickly as you can. Then the third question and the fourth question. Then put your paper down. Then ask these two follow-up questions, and I'll give you a little different way to address those. The first question is, what did I find surprising about this exercise? What did I find surprising about this exercise? The way you should go about answering that is not to generate many answers, but just to listen, to think, to feel what the response might be. Then ask this second question and answer it in the same fashion. What do I want to think about more in the future? And that's the end of the 15-minute questioning exercise. The next day, again, find a period of time where you can spend 15 minutes uninterrupted in a quiet spot and review your paper, read the answers you generated the previous day, and just think and reflect about what you're learning. Ask yourself, what is this exercise trying to teach me? And then repeat that process as many days as you find value. Maybe it's one day or two days, or maybe it becomes a lifelong practice. As long as you find value, keep doing it. Now this simple exercise is just one way to get started in learning more about yourself in the discovery process. It's one way to begin to clear all those things that get in the way of you hearing your call. It's something worth thinking about.